feedback is like when somebody starts thinks of doing something, he or she has to take the initiative and start. Doesn't wait, don't wait for somebody and come and then you start off. Then I join you. No, it's not like that. It's you join, you start, and then others will join you. So yeah, that's the thing which I think. And it goes from from your personal life as well as for yeah. It should uh, come big, from inside. Questions. It should come from inside. One like if I am feeling something to do from inside, then only I will start doing. So yeah, that's the thing. And and but what, what about yourself? Are you actually already in that process, or is it just today yeah, that you get yeah. that idea? Yeah. After all these meaningful discussions, we think like okay, let's do something about the nature and about ourselves also. Mm. If you can just, if imagine there is a switch in everyone's body which you can just automatically switch on and the body starts behaving as in like as an active person and stuff like that. So we are just trying to cater to like how we can develop that fitness on their own rather than you know depending on the modern technology and other stuff. That's why I was saying yes you were talking about the electric cars but that's why I said like if we have those cycle systems which we already have in Delhi, the, the BIT link we have cycle stands, you drop out of the bus, you take the cycle, go to your office come back and you just have to pay some rent. That will take care of both the things. It's taking care of your climate, it's taking care of health too. So that's what my uh, thinking about this is. Like yes, we need to seriously think about something. We need to be our own leader rather than depending on somebody who is going to take the initiative and then we are just the followers there. So if every individual comes like a leader, the, the, the country or the climate will automatically change because then you are just driving yourself rather than following anyone else. So could there be a vision? Copenhagen is a place full of people on bikes. Yeah, yeah. And if you talked about everybody individually yeah. connecting, do you think that on an individual level, a bicycling person from Copenhagen connecting with a bicycling person or yeah. maybe a potential bicycling person yeah. in Delhi, does that make any sense? Uh, I think so. If we can just, uh, you know, uh, help the society in carrying or starting some events where we are referring to not it's, it's not like just an event but it's like you know you just start we just produce the cyclist where you are looking for the fitness bit rather than you know you just want to perform in an event or something it should be like practically applicable yes I don't want to take a four-wheeler I just need to take a bicycle and ride it to my office or something which is taking care of my health indirectly it's taking care of my family also because I am healthy so my family is healthy. Did you know that Copenhagen is a bicycle city and that it actually calls itself the leading bicycle city of the world. Yeah. Do you know this? Yeah. So I don't know about it, but definitely I would look for this vision if I want India to be like improving in all the sense, rather than just in technology or the modern innovation. Cycling has always been there. I was I used to cycle when I was a kid also. When I was going to school, I used to go on a cycle, and the relation between the Danish people and the Indian people on a bicycle, I think it's connecting everywhere. Why only two countries? Actually, all throughout the world. Look at any poor country, the people over there are using bicycle as a transport. And it's not about where the country is heading, it's more about your own fitness also. It's, it's keeping you healthy, you're taking care of the climate, you're taking care of your own self, keeping yourself happy, keeping your body fresh and yeah, it's, it's just been taking care of everything. And health wise, um, cycling is one thing but it's just more about telling discussing, uh, interacting with people at the same level that yes, if we want to do something, we need to start off somewhere. Uh, it's, it's just not that we have to wait for things to happen. Decide and just pick up one day and just start doing things. People will follow you. They but but I don't see many bikes in Delhi at all. Uh, yes, you will not. That's what I'm saying because the society has changed. We have become from a very active society to a very leisure society. And we just don't want to leave that leisure thing. Uh, our whole cocoon of uh, leisure, uh, good lifestyle, not doing anything on your own. You're dependent on the poor people who are doing everything for you. Uh, so that cycling thing or let's say any health fitness thing is just not coming up because they're afraid of getting out of their cocoon, of their safe cocoon. So uh, I think yes. So what's going to happen? you think, let's say in five years time, do, do you see a, a future for bicycles here? Uh, yes. Seriously? Seriously? Because if there are going to be more ailments, more illnesses, people will be prompted to do something for their fitness. It can be cycling, it can be 
walking, it can be running, it can be just hitting out gyms for that matter. And there are there are people over here who do cycling, but they do like very occasionally, not on the regular basis. They just get up in the morning, they take the cycle, they take around and they come back. Whether it's in a group of 5, 10, 15, whatever. But they don't imply this on their regular life. Like they don't they don't prefer to take the bicycle to the office and then they come back. But they are ready to do this on Saturday and Sunday mornings for hours. So So what does it take to change that attitude? Maybe when they realize that it's necessary to stop the cars and then they have to take the cycles up for the regular work. When they feel that there is less of oxygen and they are suffocating, maybe I think that will be the time when everybody will realize. But isn't it something that goes deeper? Something about, for instance, that is not prestigious to be on a bike? It feels better to sit in an air-conditioned car? Oh yeah, it's not. Yes, this is this is the attitude this actually. Is, this is. Actually, this is the attitude. The more, the more we are getting modernized, more modernized, we are thinking like if we move out uh, and do something about us, people will think like we are poor or something. It's more uh, the world is heading towards more showbiz rather than the actual fitness, like that. So that's the thing. I think that the day will be very soon when for the doctor will be advising you stop your cars, start taking your cycles if you want to live forever, as in like live your optimal normal average life. Otherwise, you'll be dying sooner. So that's what I think. And what do you think as a doctor? Uh, about biking? Mm. Um, I think physically uh, what's, what's happened is this whole shift from developing and struggling to getting there and you know, trying to get the money and all that, um, or trying to drive, you know, go to your, get your dreams. What's happened is we don't have enough time. You know, there are only 24 hours in a day and there's only 7 days in a week. So we're trying to do as much as we can at that time. So there is no time for us, there is no time for this whole cycling uh, situation that is there. Uh, so of course people are getting more unfit. You know, there was a very interesting statistic about, you know, people are going on and on about HIV. There are a lot more people who suddenly have a lot more of these chronic diseases which are brought on by us not moving, whether we're walking, whether we're cycling, whether we're swimming or whatever. And cycling is the most practical transport anyways, when we talk about whether eco-friendly or physically fit as well. Uh, I love to run, but the point is, you know, if you're going to work, is it actually, you know, practical? No, it's not. Cycling is the one. Having said that, the government's run made some effort, but very little some effort. So whatever this bus, uh, these BRTs that we have, these lanes for the buses and all that, they have a biking lane. One, you don't see enough bikers. Second is, if they, you'll see more of the cars actually using that and actually the two-wheelers and the bikes and all that using that lane again. So again, it's about implementation. Yes, making one is one night, one thing, but then implementing it is a different one. Again, what happens is, like you know, in the last five six years, running has become popular in India. It started off with a big event happening in Bombay, so Bombay Marathon. Then other marathons picked up and all that. So that's great because I moved to Bangalore in 2006, and in that park on a Sunday morning, I would see 10 people walking. If I go today, we did something two weeks ago, and there were a good 500 people in the park. You know, so that shift in six years. So yes, it's possible. Uh, so I think same about biking and same about, you know, can we do a lot more? Yes, it's, you're having events. Now the idea of the event is, can we make it a lifestyle change? It's not about winning medals. I mean, to me, medals are very hollow. It's, there's not enough in it. But at grassroots level, can we make a bigger difference? The schools need to get involved. The government needs to get involved. The corporates need to get involved. Parents need to jump into it. And need to realize, you know, everyone's trying to live for tomorrow with forgetting about today. Uh, I think there's an emergency today. We need to actually address that, whether it be health, whether it be health of the environment and that's why I, I get very excited about climate change and the running scene saying first make yourself fit before thinking about the you know the world uh, world can take care of itself so don't worry about that uh, but if you help yourself it'll make yourself better environment for you so that's I think that's what they need to focus on and all of us put together there was a movie recently uh, that's come out from Hollywood Avengers uh, I think that really sums up the whole issue so when you asked about uh, you know India has gurus and stuff like that so India has too many gurus, that's the problem. So everyone's a leader. Uh, so in India, there are 1.2 billion consultants and leaders. Okay, no one's listening to the other guy. So we are talk, 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 we don't listen enough. Now that's a difficult one. Avengers had the same situation. There were these superheroes, so there was an Iron Man, uh, there was Hulk, there were other guys. And, and what they were doing was, they were just put them in the room. Now they were put together to kind of save the world. Okay, there was an issue and they were supposed to save the world. What were they doing? They had egos and they started fighting among themselves. 
and the main character, the villain character, that's what he wanted. He wanted them to get along and you know pick up a fight amongst themselves. And that was a perfect uh, situation for him because he took on the whole thing about you know taking it in a negative way. As soon as they were working together, which all these gurus in India aren't, even if you put two on a stage and suddenly they start fighting. Uh, now that's the issue. We need to figure that one out. Um, I have been to a few conferences on whether it be climate change, whether it be medical and whatever, at very, very international conferences. We have too many superheroes. Where's the team? There is no team. So I think, you know, to make a bigger difference, that's what we need. It was like a round table. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the situation in, in, in India and everything. So everywhere. thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.